And that's what it is to be held at ransom for what something people haven't got. They hold it at ransom. They are not strategic. It's not circumstantial. It's actually evident. It's precedent. That's why they do that. They are compounded away from society against reality, cheating in a game of lousy snap because they can't see the two cards that fell out of the hands of the person that can claim the point. They're trying to challenge it. They sit right across from you. There's no romance novel to it. There's no bilateral comp competence or co collateral damage or attachments to prosperity in the world of biology and laws and everything. There's no telecommunication access. We're talking about Australian people and their families that did this shit. All of them grew up playing snap like that shit. They holding you at ransom. These are stupid autistics. It's called autistics. If it wasn't, it'd be acoustics. Fancy their mouth holding anybody back. And they're not even entitled to anything in the first place. We're playing fucking piggy in the middle or whatever. How can their mouth hold people back from anything better? Because they're thieving their fucking information, thieving their way of life, their graphics, their material, and they're thieving everything. And it's not strategic. It's not circumstantial. It's not even that which they chose to be. These are autistic people compounded away from society against reality with some kind of fucking spectrum disorder. So how can their eyeballs outweigh the written facts? Only if their eyes are fucking latched on it and they're committing after hours espionage and sabotage like the stupid cunt children right across the country that are all grown up. I'm not talking about anybody's children. I'm talking about specifically those powers. Three quarters of all the Australian workforce earn no more than $75,000 a year. What does that say? For the other 25%, how many of them only reach $100,000? So what does that say about departments holding everything up $2 a day? You think that I'm in the business of giving a shit about charging the fucking telecom system 100 bucks a day and me pay $2? So where is your departmental hopes these days? What's Australia without a phone? What's Australia without a boat? What's Australia without a fucking radar or a circle? And a small one, one weighed up against a thousand. You don't think you're imitating anything in the end? It wasn't like that growing up with my generation at school. You get lured into them, go into their house, so you gotta find something to do. You pull a stupid game of cards. You play Snap, fair enough, it's all cool, my friend, you know, play Snap. And you held at ransom to snap the card like they're challenged at every point. What is that, stupid freaking kids, that it's not circumstantial, it's not strategic? It's evident of what they don't know how to play. But they're latched on like a person that thieves shit and goes, tells Nanny. If you stuff over the fact that they want every point, that's like they want everything in the shops like lollies and shit. Their eyes are fixed on it. That's why they played Snap like that. That's what it's like to find stupid fucking spoiled brat kids all grown up 30 and 40 challenging everything in front of their face between two people, everything across from them. And it might be just the fact that they don't know any better. It might just be that they're fucking literally poverty, socially poverty. If they're found in the networks 20, 25 years and beyond... Working for the telecom system, do you think they have any life experience? Or they're using Google to correct their fucking Tourette syndrome? Because they've fallen over their fucking intestines trying to escape using a measure of distance and a weight of scales that's never been shown to be found in their life. So they fucking search the Google engine trying to keep at pace with their devices, the subliminal tracking, and all the signal trunk dialing capabilities that sees them bravely implicated and involved. And Google stuffs them over because they're from a background that doesn't know one thing from the next. And they're the first to tell people they're a liar. And they're only from a, from a past that scored 78 out of 100, meaning that every fucking 22 questions they got wrong, they got 22 unanswered questions in their life. So how can they go on and tell people they didn't know something? Or tell people they did know something? They couldn't even answer the fucking question. They didn't even know the answer, remember? So therefore it becomes a challenge. For power's sake, for authority's sake, for authenticity's sake, for someone's stupid bastard child's sake, and for the QC lawyer and the SC lawyer to get it wrong too. And that's what it is to be.